and the all-star cast that have made the Empress of China such an overnight success. But the costumes? Well, they might have helped a bit too. Until, that is, the series mysteriously disappeared from Chinese TV screens. Four days later, though, it was back, but with almost every scene reframed, cropped, an anti-cleavage campaign that's provoked widespread outrage. <sighs> Chinese TV schedules are full of period costume dramas, all lakes and pagodas, precisely because they are considered ideologically safe. In a nation that is used to the harsh realities of political censorship, it's clear that this is considered a cut too far and it's being widely ridiculed online. China's army of internet users have been suggesting other subjects that might be ripe for a bit of reframing, from the Venus de Milo to Vladimir Putin in a mass mocking of the Communist Party censors. I hope the, the administrators that are realize that they are making a fool of themselves. The danger is they might be too distracted uh, from, the, from the public sphere to, to realize that. Uh, I think um, they should realize this kind of ambiguity and randomness in the way they do things actually uh, create a lot of misunderstanding between them and, and, and the people. As I said, people feel like they're treated as, a, as children. For China's massive movie and TV industry, it's a worrying sign that the government is imposing stricter moral controls at the same time as it clamps down harder on political dissent. But for the Empress of China, the picture cropping has brought one benefit, publicity. <laughs>